I mean, like, it, it is what it is. Man, I, I knocked that nigga out twice. Out. I knocked the nigga out when I first knocked him out, right? And then the second time I knocked him out is because I got out of jail that day. And when I got out of jail that day, most snitches will run different states and get disappeared. This nigga act like I wasn't going to get out of jail. Right. So he when he was there performing at the comedy store the night I got out. So when, he, when, he, when I got out, I thought that was more insulting. But I knew whatever I had to do, I had to hurry up and do it again because... If once he go to court, the judge gonna put a, uh, 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 well, we, well, I, we know how it go. Order, right. So, uh, so I had to get him again. So I went to the comedy store, hopped on the stage with the paperwork, and read his heard ass out. out. Read act him out again, right? Sing a press charge on me, and then went to the, went to the, and man, I'm telling you, it was a, you would think it was an OJ trial. Nigga, when I went to court, man, he uh, he wouldn't stood a chance coming to court. It was a thousand real niggas in every court deck. Nah, niggas I didn't even know. I didn't know if they was there for me or TK. But they was all there for me, nigga. They thought I was OJ. Because he's a whole nigga. He disrespectful. And Charleston White, man, that little dude, I was, and I ain't saying this because, because I, I think I ain't gonna never take away his talent. The nigga gifted is a motherfucker. You know what I mean? Who there? TK. And you gonna, see, I give him his yeah, problems, I'm a, I'm a, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I, 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 mix, I know what you coming on yeah, the show. Mix, you got to tell your yeah, story. Yeah, I ain't gonna mix facts with reality. He, the right. nigga gifted. The nigga funny. But I went to the show in Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Cause my wife loved Charleston White. You know what I'm saying? Cause he, Charleston, he say what people can't say. That's why you my favorite comedian. That's why Charleston my favorite comedian. Y'all saying shit I can't even say. You know what I'm saying? Fuck politically correct. You niggas are just correct. You know what I mean? So I like Charleston White. When I went there, I'm not on, I don't know what happened to TK that night. But Charleston White killed the show. I, I didn't know because, you know, it's hard for... You know, Scott Joe, you a comedian who been around long yeah, enough. Been a long Let time. me ask you a question. Charleston White, you say he killed the show. Is Man. he ready to do 15, 20 minutes a man, night in front listen, of niggas? Man, see, sometime in comedy, I, I, I've been doing this comedy 25 years, and I've never seen nobody that fast timing beats. You can see a little amateur, some stuff in there, but for, when his, his delivery, his timing, he got likability, he got good Where's energy. He? You know he said he's talking about Charleston White. Yeah, he got likability. He's he got from good Charleston energy. White is from Texas, energy. but I think he lived here. He's lovable. Yeah, he's the nigga tells some raw truth, <clears throat> and plus people want him to win. You know, some people got that. You know, some comedians get on stage and they just it love is, you. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And who he is when he talk on on the internet, that ain't. He's like you. You talk so much shit about bitches, but niggas be loving you because you got that charm. And Charleston White got the same thing. And I'm not just saying that because I don't like TK, because I thought TK was going to come out and do some shit because he a veteran. There ain't nothing going up behind, you know. But, man, they was running out on that nigga, man.